So uh, I decided to go ahead and buy a Gravity RC uh, GRC 2000. This is a USGT 21.5 spec motor. Uh, these you can order straight from Gravity. A main has them. Uh, so many hobby shops carry them as well. Well, if USGT is popular in that area, they'll carry it. If not, then good luck finding one. You're probably gonna have to buy it from Gravity. Uh, one of the things, be careful when you order these motors from non-hobby shops or uh, Gravity because uh, you, you may not get what you're thinking you're getting. But this one I ordered straight from uh, Gravity RC. Now it comes in this neat little can. Usually motors come in a box, most of them. Piece of foam to protect it. Uh, you get the little instructions here. I'm going to place the motor here for now. And with every motor, they're 100% rebuildable. Here we go. This is the individual that checked everything for my motor, and you're gonna get one of these little papers with everything. So we'll go ahead and put this on the side. Let's go ahead and take these foams. That packaging is actually pretty good. Uh, this, this actually looks pretty good. I like this. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and connect the sensor wire and then I'm gonna check. So these, uh, these are supposed to do uh, the same, about the same for all motors because it's a purpose-built spec motor for USGT. So we have A, B, C. Uh, this is what I wired for C. Uh, so timing should be about 30, so I'm gonna go ahead and check the timing. Now, if you're wondering why I put the tape on here, it's so that my alligator clips do not contact uh, the can of the motor. I know there's a coating on the can, but still don't want to run the risk of there being contact. Wow, this is really, really low. All right, I have to figure out how to, these tabs are massive, so I can't really, Bend them, not that I want to, I don't want to damage anything. But let's see, we have that. So it's, it's just the center wire that I'm missing. I guess I could always hold it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the timing is. Alright, average timing is 29. We have a 32, 25, and 29, I believe, was the last number. It was. Uh, there's a bit of a variance there, but we're at 29. There's supposed to be 30 degree timing. So it, it falls within the range. Uh, now, let's just go back and we're going to measure uh, KV. Now, normally you don't want to run the motor this long, but uh, I'm gonna run a little longer. And then after that, I'm gonna compare it with a different uh, 21.5. Although that one, I don't think I have a reading for 30 degree timing, I believe it's 33. But we'll call it close enough, just so we can compare it to something else. All right, so I'm gonna start. So I'm gonna go to green, yellow, and then red. So the last green, the last yellow, and then the last red. All right, and those are the results. So we'll put them on a table and then uh, we'll do a little comparison. Here's the table. So on top we have the USGT motor. Uh, 
and this is a Team Powers Actinium V3. So this is a previous generation, they're on the fourth now. Uh, this is data that I have to compare. Uh, this is the closest that I have, so we have a 29 versus 32 average. Now this will make a difference, this is quite a change here in the motors, but if we look at the KVs, uh, there's an even bigger jump. So these three degrees uh, create a massive jump. Now there is a voltage difference, so it's gonna change the RPM, uh, but you can ignore this because the KV is a constant. Uh, so you can already see there's a big difference. Uh, RPMs, if we were to compensate for the 0.1 in voltage, we would be at 14H29, so 14,829. Still nowhere close to this. Uh, but it only draws 1.2 amps, uh, so it's a very, very uh, efficient motor as far as the consumption of amps. Uh, so your battery is going to last quite a while. That means uh, you can probably get away with a lighter pack. Um, as opposed to something else. Although anything that draws below say three amps is not really going to draw much. Uh, but this is the comparison. Now keep in mind that the point of this is not to establish whether the USGT motor is better or worse than another one. It's just to give an idea of where it stands. Keep in mind that in USGT class, everybody would be running this motor. So Really, uh, if I had more, more USGT motors, uh, the main thing to compare is to see how far off they are from each other. One of the things, though, that I do like about the USGT is it's fixed timing. It's 29 degrees. They're supposed to be pretty close to 30, so that's pretty good. Now, uh, I hope this is useful or at least interesting. Uh, please comment below uh, if you have any questions, comments. Maybe you have experience for, with USGT motors. How good is their quality control and their spec? Uh, also, please subscribe if you have not, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,